Ever wonder what lurks in the shadows of American folklore? I'm talking about none other than the Mothman, a creature as eerie as it is elusive. Nestled in the heart of Point Pleasant, West Virginia, this legend began to unfold one chilling night in November 1966. Imagine this, two young couples driving in the dead of night near an old World War II munitions plant suddenly encounter something unimaginable. With glowing red eyes and a wingspan over 10 feet, the Mothman wasn't just a fleeting shadow, it chased their car for miles. Terrified, they reported this encounter to the police, sparking a frenzy of sightings that would captivate the town for over a year. Now, let's delve into the heart of Mothman's domain, the abandoned TNT area, riddled with tunnels and enveloped in dense forest. It's here that locals glimpsed this humanoid enigma, always describing the same chilling features, massive wings, haunting red eyes, and a stature towering at about seven feet tall. Some even spoke of a hypnotic effect, an eerie presence that you could feel in your very bones. But how did a local legend ignite a nationwide obsession? As word spread, journalists and thrill-seekers swarmed Point Pleasant, all hungry for a glimpse of the mysterious Mothman. Each sighting added a layer to the growing mythos, painting a picture of a creature both fascinating and fearsome. Yet, despite all the eyes watching, no one could unearth concrete evidence of the Mothman's existence. Then, tragedy struck. The collapse of the Silver Bridge on December 15, 1967, claimed 46 lives. Many believed the Mothman sightings were an ominous prelude to this disaster. After the bridge fell, sightings dwindled, but the legend, the legend never died. Today, Point Pleasant has woven this eerie thread into its identity, with a statue and an annual Mothman festival celebrating the mystery. So, was the Mothman a harbinger of doom? A mere figment of collective imagination? Or something else entirely? We may never truly know. Thank you for joining me in this shadowy corner of American folklore. If your curiosity is piqued, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tales that dance on the edge of the known and the unknown. Until next time, keep wondering.